What is up, folks? Bristol Gaming back with another episode of 7 Days to Die Mods Weekly, the show where we help you figure out what mods are good for you. And this week, as you can see here, we have a cool week ahead of us, some really good mods we're going to go over. But before we jump into anything, I want to go ahead and take a second to say thank you to the mod authors and thank you to all you people who have liked and subscribed on the content. It means a lot to me and it really does help out. But now we're going to go ahead and jump into our first mod. And our first mod, as you can see here, is called Val Mod Food. This is stuff that was brought in from Valmod from like way back in uh, um, Alpha 16, I think it was. There's like 23 food items now that you can make. Like you've got the bacon and egg sandwich, the biscuit and jam. You've got bowl of fruit. You've got all different kinds of stuff that's not in the game normally that you can make now because of this. And now it's it's not super duper, you know amazing to a lot of people but it actually is kind of cool that it adds you know food that was in Valmod because I really loved playing on the Valmod like I loved I loved that version and you can still play it but you have to play on the Alpha 16 which is just you know bleh. but not only that so it off it also brings in some challenges so if we say challenge there's a whole bunch of different ones here I think well I say a whole bunch but it's like three of them here that are from Valmod that it brings in. So like it actually brings in a, a good bit of stuff from Valmod, which you know is really cool, at least to me because I really enjoyed Valmod, and I also enjoy anything that spices up the otherwise bland cooking. Like with having additional stuff here to cook, different you know ingredients and stuff. Like this is actually really cool that it takes the bacon and eggs and the cornbread because otherwise there's a lot of stuff in here that I just I don't ever use you know food wise because you get to a certain point where meat stew stuff like that that's you know it's really all I ever make or maybe hobo stew or stuff like that so this is just really cool that it brings in different stuff to actually make like spaghetti you know I guess it's just really neat to me at least at least you know it's really super neat to me but with that folks we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one Alright folks, as you can see here, our next mod is called Bobbleheads by Godraiser. And what this is, is it gives you a chance to find something really cool when you're out looting bookcases like this one. So you come in here, you open it up. Ah, we, we didn't find it. This is for the Wasteland. But what it gives you a chance to find is it gives you a chance to find these Bobblehead books. So you've got Luck, Agility, Intelligence, Charisma, Endurance, Perception, and Strength. And now what these do is, so with the Luck one... You get 2% chance to dismember. Agility, 5% headshot with any weapon in the agility category. And intelligence, 5% headshot with intelligence. You know, same thing with all of these. That's really neat. At least I like that. I'm sorry, not 5% um, chance. It was 5% damage to headshot. It's like, so it does increase the damage you're going to do or your dismemberment while you're out playing around. And you just find these in the bookcases. And that's what's really cool about it. So, or anywhere that you can find a perk book, like sometimes you'll find them in um, desk drawers or bookcases, stuff like that. You'll find these. So if you're out and about looting a whole bunch, there's a good chance you're going to find these. And what's even better is these are not able to be found by a trader. Like you can't go to a trader and buy one. You actually have to go out and loot and stuff like that if you want to get these. So it, it you know makes looting a little bit more important you know you're not just going to spam a trader mission run in clear it real quick just hit the main loot like you actually need to look at say okay well what's in this you know can i loot this okay i gotta loot that can i loot this you're actually going to have to spend some time doing some looting and to go along with this one our next mod is called fallout perks by god razor and it's really cool because oops, i clicked on the wrong one so over here we have rapid reload it even has a cool little icon just like what you would see in Fallout. And it, there's different ones in each little category. And that's what's really cool. You've got the different stuff. You've got Life Giver. You've got Medic. Rapid Reload. Rapid Reload again. Nerves of Steel. Like, these are just really cool. It's all really good. You see how it increases your stamina by a whole bunch? Like, I think Godraiser has done a really good job with this. And even better, these actually roll really good into the Wasteland mod. So if you're playing with the Wasteland mod and you add these mods to it, it just really ups the whole Fallout, you know, style of gameplay, which I really enjoy. I love Fallout games. They're some of my most favorite games in the world to play because you can get lost forever in them. And being able to bring a little bit of that in here, I think it's just really neat. And there's, you know, these mods, the way that they work together like that, just super duper impressive in terms of utility. 
because you know you you can get all these little bobbleheads here, and then you have all these different little stuff here to help you do stuff better. Like it's just it's just really cool being able to do life giver and stuff like that. You know, be able to increase your health and your ability to heal or your stamina stuff. It's just really great, really well done mods by God Razor. And the fact that they, you know, can be mixed in with the wasteland is just even better in my opinion. But with that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the last mod. All right, folks, as you can see here, our last mod is called more zombies and larger random hordes by Durial seven. And, um, this thing is insane, y'all. You've got a choice of like 17 different files you can pick. Right now, I'm running one that gives me 132 times more random zombies and a bigger horde size of up to 32. Now, look at all these dang zombies that are here. Like, look at all these. I am surrounded by zombies. And the reason why I went with such a high number is because I wanted to illustrate to you guys just how many dang zombies you can have spawning in with this. And now, just like with the Jax Teller mod, this does give you options. So you've got one that you can do that increases the natural spawn and the horde size by up to 16. You've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and then 16. So you've got a whole lot of choice on some of these. And this is a massive amount of zombies surrounding you. Now, a lot of people want the extra challenge. They want a ton of zombies. Well, here you go, folks. You have a butt ton of zombies. And, you know, there might not be 132 zombies around us right now, but this is a sh load of zombies. So if you're playing normally and you're out and about doing stuff and you run across this many zombies, you're going to have a bad day. Like, I don't care how good you are in the game. I don't care how OP you are, how much you've played, stuff like that. If you put this mod on with 132 random spawns and just a butt ton of larger horde, you're going to have a very bad day. But it's going to make for engaging gameplay, so, you know, why not? Give yourself a, give yourself a treat. And then, of course, you know, the more noise you make, the more zombies spawn in, so... Which is always good, you know, increase that heat map, just get even more zombies coming after you. It looks like we're clear this way. Oh, nope, there's some over here. Not many. There's a whole buttload over there. Oh, no, there's a bunch over there. Yep, there's more over there. A whole bunch. We're surrounded by just a butt ton of zombies. But... You know, people love having mods like this that just, you know, bring in just a ridiculous amount of zombies. And I do, too. That's why I play with the... I play with this one, but I put it on times four, just like with the Jax Teller. I like I like this one. Um, I like the Jax Teller as well, but I prefer this one over the Jax Teller one because this one not only increases the, you know, random zombies you're going to find out in the world and stuff like that, but it also increases the wandering horde size because... I, f I feel like, you know, if there's going to be a wandering horde of zombies, it needs to be something big. It needs to be one of those holy effing crap, you know, I'm going to, can I, can I dodge these guys or am I just going to get my crap pushed in? Like, it really needs to be one of those panicky type moments. Like, you need to feel the, oh my god, what's going to happen here? And this mod is so good with that. And... This mod also can give you an option of doing something else. So you can also have hordes of dogs running around. Yeah, you heard me. Hordes of dogs. You can have a whole bunch of little Cujos and everything else just chasing your butt around. Trying to make sure that you have a very bad day. Where is this guy running off to? Come here, dummy. I know it hurts. That's why I'm trying to kill you. Ah, these guys are so dumb. But yeah, so having a random, you know, horde of dogs spawn as you're out and about trying to do stuff is just, like, that's terrifying as hell to me. Like, I don't know how many times it's been where I've been doing stuff and just a random wolf or a dog or something like that comes up and it just scares the piss out of me because you don't expect it. And then now imagine you're out doing a buried supplies quest. You dig up, you know, dig up the stuff. You got zombies spawning in, so you fight them off. You're down to the last zombie, and then all of a sudden, a massive horde of dogs just comes running by just to ruin your day. Like, that's just fun as hell. It's just exciting to me. Oh, crap, there's a zombie there. See, look at how many damn zombies there are. 
And of course, like I said, this is set to the absolute highest one that was available for download, the 132, just because I like a challenge. So, and you know, to really illustrate to you guys exactly what you've got available with this mod, this is perfect for it. Like you guys can see, there are just a ton of zombies here. This is, this wasn't me spawning anything in. They're still coming. There's still a ton of zombies over there. They're coming around from different areas. Like you want a challenge guys, here you go. You want something super fun, a whole bunch of zombies to spawn in? You got it. This is the one. This is it. This is the one that's going to give you just the absolute most ridiculous amount of zombies you could possibly have. And you can have a ton of fun with it too. So, But with that, folks, we are done for the week. Make sure you like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have fun. Take it easy. We'll see you next time.